The triangle inequality tells us that in order for three side lengths to form a triangle, that the sum of the two shorter sides has to be greater than the third side. Otherwise, there won't be a triangle resulting. But it also tells us what type of triangle is formed from those side lengths. So now we can figure out if those three side lengths will in fact form a right triangle, an obtuse triangle, or an acute triangle. And we figure this out by comparing the squares of the lengths of the three sides. And I'll show you how to do that today. Let's see what happens with the square of the side lengths on an acute triangle. All right, on a triangle, what we're going to do is we're going to label our shorter sides A and B, and it doesn't really matter which one is which. Um, but then the third side, we're going to label C. That's going to be our longest side. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to take A squared and add it to B squared, and then we're going to see how does that compare to C squared. So in this example, our A squared will be 6 squared, and we'll be adding 9 squared, and we'll see how that compares to 10 squared. All right, so we're looking at 36 plus 81 compared to 100. And I know that 36 plus 81 is 117, and that's greater than 100. So what this tells us is that when we take our two shorter sides and square them and add them together, so a squared plus b squared, and that is going to be greater than c squared, and the greater than is key here, um, then it's going to result in an acute triangle every single time. Be sure that you have this copied in your notes because you'll need it for all the examples we do um, following this video. So what happens in obtuse triangles? Well again we have an A and a B which I'm going to just label as my smaller sides and then my largest side will be my C. And now I'm going to see what happens again when I do a squared plus b squared and we're comparing it to our c squared. So a in this case we used 4 plus 6 compared to 8. So 4 squared plus 6 squared, how does that, re how does that compare to 8 squared? And I get 16 plus 36 and we're comparing that to 64. And I see that I get 40, 52, and that's less than 64. And again, this happens in every obtuse triangle. And we can sum it up the following way. We'd say a squared plus b squared is less than c squared. And again, the less than is key. And now this time it results in an obtuse triangle. All right, so again, have that copied before we go on to the next example. All right, the final type of triangle that can be formed is a right triangle. So again, let's square our A, add it to our B squared, and see how does that compare to our C squared. Um, in the right triangle, A and B have to be your legs, which in this case are going to be the shortest sides. Um, and we've got A, B, and C is my longest side. So if I take um, and square my A, I have 6 squared plus 8 squared compared to 10 squared. So I'm adding 36 plus 64 and I get 100. And I see that that equals the square of my third side. Okay. And again, you guys, this happens in every right triangle. And we sum it up with symbols like this. A squared plus b squared equals c squared. So when the sum of the two shorter sides, or sorry, when the sum of the square of the two shorter sides equals the square of the third side, a right triangle results. And there's a special name for that, and you'll learn about it um, later on in this chapter. Um, it's called the Pythagorean Theorem, and you'll do a lot more with it. But for now, you just need to know that if you add a squared and b squared, and it equals c squared, then it is a right triangle. Let's see how we can figure out now the type of triangle that's formed. We've got side lengths 3, 5, and 6, and we want to know what type of triangle is formed. 
So what I'm always going to do is I'm going to take my two shorter sides and square them and add them together and see how it compares to the square of my third side and then I can figure out what type of triangle that is. So 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25, and 6 squared is 36. 9 plus 25 is 34, and 34 is less than 36. And I know that if the sum of the square of my two shorter sides is less than the square of my third side, then an obtuse triangle results. And if I was asked to explain my answer, this right here would be my explanation. Right? The square of the first two sides added together is less than the square of the third side. Here's another example. We've got side lengths 8, 9, and 11, and we're wondering, does a triangle result, and if so, what type? Um, I'm testing to see if a triangle results by adding my two shorter sides, and they have to be greater than the third side, and I see that 17 is greater than 11, so yes, we get a triangle. Okay, now let's figure out what kind of triangle. 8 squared plus 9 squared compared to... 11 squared. And 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81, and 11 squared is 121. And when I add 64 and 81, I get 145, and that is greater than 121. So I'm going to go back and fill that in up here. And if the sum of the two shorter, the square of the two shorter sides is greater than the square of the third side, then an acute triangle results. In our last example, we have 9, 12, and 15. Again, I always want to test to make sure they form triangles first by just adding together my two shorter sides and confirming that it's greater than my third. And I see that 21 is greater than 15, so yes, they form a triangle. And then, again, to determine our type, we square our two shorter sides and add them together and see how it compares to the square of our third side. 9 squared is 81, 12 squared is 144, and 15 squared is 225. And 81 plus 144 is exactly 225. And now we know that if we add together the squares of our two shorter sides and they equal the square of our third side, the triangle that results is a right triangle. All right, before you go on to the practice problems in the next folder, let's summarize what we did. Okay? Um, if you take the square of the two shorter sides and add them together, and the sum is greater than the square of the third side, then an acute triangle results. If you square the two shorter sides, if a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, then an obtuse triangle results. And if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then a right triangle results. All right, so make sure you have these notes with you as you go through the practice in the next folder. And see your teacher with any questions that you have.